the stream catch up a second so I know it's working. <clears throat> and after it's done that, I'll get back to business as usual. Alright, it appears to be working. Now first of all, apparently there's mail. So let's claim that real quick. Nice notices. Right, so as you can guess by the title, there's been an update. Lantern right. Color me intrigued. Update summary. I'm not gonna read through that stuff right now. Because I think you would much rather see me get on of actually playing. So first of all, let's see if this update brought anything new with it along the map. Doesn't look like the map was expanded upon. Alright. So that's gonna have to wait until later on apparently. Which, to be fair, I don't mind. Let's start off by doing the dailies. Let's start off by doing the dailies. See what we got to do here. Oh, damn it. Why this one? Why do I need to defeat? I really don't want to do that. Like, this is... I've never had this daily commission before, but I hate this enemy. Move! Okay, distraction. That didn't work out quite as nicely as I expected it to. And do your thing. Thank you. This should heal. Not just should I know it heals. Shield. And go all out. And hey Debbie Dino, what's up? What's up? What's up? Oh dear god, no. Hang on, I'll get to chat as soon as this guy is gone because he's really annoying and I hate him. And I'm taking a bit of a beating, but this this will work out. This will work out just fine. Just fine. See? No problem. No problem whatsoever. I don't know what I was even worried about. But yeah, hi. Welcome to the stream. It's nice to be back, honestly. Needless to say, I did kind of miss streaming. Want to hear a joke that is a call out for me? Well, feel free, feel free. Let's see if you can make me laugh with your little joke. Let's see if you can make me laugh. Um, destroy the towers. Okay, that's a relatively simple one. Don't even necessarily need to fight anyone, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Put a joke here, but you are on screen. Wow. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> I am quite aware of it. But... Thanks for reminding me. And Blob, hi, welcome back. Welcome to the stream. I see you just wanna lurk, but... That is fine. As long as you enjoy the stream, that is just fine by me. Now let's quickly... I mean, yeah, it is a bit of a call out, the joke, but oh well. Oh well, oh well. Not much I can do about that. Um... Disabled person on fire. Are you talking about the wheelchair thing again, or...? Because if, if it's the Hot Wheels joke again, then... 
I've already heard that recently. I think that was also you. Yeah, it, it was. Yeah, I think you made that ex exact same pun bef the the same pun before. So and exactly new. Not quite, you know, fresh material. Okay, let's speed the archer real quick. Tested my memory. Well, today I guess it's working a little bit better. That might, but that might be because I feel a little bit more. I don't know. I definitely have a little bit of a better day today. I'm I'm very motivated, which is nice because I was kind of in a slump the last couple of days. But now I'm back at it with energy, and I feel like today. Who knows, maybe my gameplay will also be better. Let's not get our hopes up too much, shall we? Okay, where are the other two dailies real quick? One's over here. But where... There it is, final one. Let's, let's do this one first. See what this one's about. And then... We'll check to see what else is new in this update. After all, they updated to 1.3, which should be a big update. They didn't add anything new to the map, so I'm expecting a lot of other content at least. And defeat all opponents, of course, and it's Fatui. I don't like fighting Fatui. Fatui are like the most annoying opponents, especially the hammer guy. I hate the hammer guy. I absolutely despise the hammer guy. Move. He is like the most annoying Fatui out there. And the Fatui overall aren't exactly pleasant. See what I mean? Exactly that. But once I can break through the stupid shield, I should be able to take him out quite nicely. There we go. Now it's just him. The most annoying of them all. No one escapes, she says as he steps right outside of the range. Can you see how little damage I'm doing, by the way? I just, I don't like him. Can stop lurking now. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, as I just said. I'm definitely, f well, quite... I'd almost say I'm filled with energy today. Don't know exactly. But I'm definitely feeling a lot better than I did the past few days where I just couldn't bring myself to stream despite really wanting to. But today, everything's fine. Ooh. The only thing that's really, really pissing me off, of course, is this guy here. He's just way too tanky. I mean, there, there probably is an easier way to get around his stupid shield. But I'm not sure how. Elemental reactions aren't doing the job quite as nicely as I would expect. And frankly, other than elemental reactions, I'm not really sure what else I should do. So I'm just gonna keep on bashing him. Glad you're doing better. Well, it wasn't necessary. I wasn't necessarily doing too bad, just, you know, completely at a loss of all motivation. It happens. Usually it doesn't last a couple of days, but... Everyone has. As, as, uh, as many people would agree, everyone has their bad days where it just happens. Call everyone big man. Well, I mean, as long as you're not the world record holder for the smallest person alive, then yeah, of course, you, someone can call you big man. Alright, there we go. Let's see, oh, dear god, nope. 
Can you please die so I can finish this quest? Like seriously, I, t I still don't understand. How do you get rid of his shield more efficiently? There has to be some sort of way, right? Nope. Well, he's almost dead anyway, so what else? Um, yep. Make me feel special while all I do is trying to make say, me say dumb things on stream. Oh dear god, I'm freezing. Um, I mean, yeah, making me say dumb things is something that happens a lot, but... Well, if people can make you feel spe special while, while making me feel dumb, then... Hey. Honestly, I don't mind feeling dumb if, if it means other people feel special. <laughs> Die. This guy is far less annoying. Like, out of all the Fatui, he might be the most chill to fight. Oh my god, that pun was entirely unintentional, but I just realized what I did. That pun... I, I mean it when I say that pun was unintentional, okay? I mean... <laughs> Then again, maybe I should have been taking credit for that pun. Then, I, but you have to agree that uh, these ice puns are kind of—I don't know—they're not very hard to come up with. Let's love the Nokayu. Here we go again with the with the simpage. <laughs> again, don't mind. But someone clearly has a. Uh, Someone has a clear favorite when it comes to Hololife, right? I I see you. Now then, let's let's see. Also, um, one thing I might as well mention. Uh, since my previous Genshin stream, I haven't played off screen at all. Again, partially because I just didn't have any motivation to get anything done. Didn't even really feel in the mood to play video games too much. So I didn't make any progress since last time. Alright, let's see. Who in chat has a clear favorite? Probably a lonely simp. I mean... You just described... I guess most people here. See what for yourself, Jack. What's going on? I've just arrived. At the gorge. Once it was burning fiercely. Suddenly felt he had met his match. Rude? Hey. If I'm too rude for you, for you then you can go ahead and leave. I'm joking, please. <laughs> I'm not kicking anyone out. I would probably get beaten up and running away, so I need to fight a monster. Okay. And Ducky, hey, what's going on? I noticed you were streaming yesterday. Sadly, I didn't make it. Um, partially because I was kind of... Um, when I got the notification, I was already preparing to turn in for the day. So I could get a good night's sleep and stuff, so... I didn't really have time to make it to the stream. I mean, it happens sometimes. I often don't make it to your streams unless I'm raiding you, because on the days where I'm not raiding you, I'm usually already sleeping by the time you stream, so... But yesterday I was awake when I got the notification, so... There we go. Also, I need to go and grab my rewards again. You shut up, just give me my stuff. Oh, actually, no, I can't get my stuff yet, right? I'm on my way to kill a monster first. Then I'm getting my stuff. But for now, might as well send these people off again. And there we go. And off you go. Nice. Nice. Okay, so where do I need to go? Over here. So I, I'm guessing this is probably the, the best way to travel. 
try to stream er as early as possible. Well, that's probably one of the reasons why I technically could have made your previous stream if I wasn't just, like, trying to get a good night's sleep in. <laughs> Which, to be fair, isn't the most common occurrence for me. I often just don't even care too much about sleep. Which you can guess by my streaming times. Okay, someone told me to wait until I reach a certain adventure rank to open these. I'm not sure which one though. I'm not sure if it was 34 or 36. So I'm gonna hold off just in case I, I'm... Just in case I should wait until adventure rank 36. I'll leave this be. Sleep is good, but streaming is better. I, I'm inclined to agree. I'm very much inclined to agree. It's just more entertaining. Something is coming. Do I just need to... Hang on. Random event? What do you mean random event? I'm just trying to fight these stupid slimes right now. So where did I trigger a random event? Also, is it seriously just slimes? Yeah, that was just stupid. Anyway, let's go back to our friend over here. And see if we completed the daily commission. Then we'll grab our daily commission reward and then we'll check to see what this update has to offer. It better be entertainment. When I opened up the game, it um, immediately opened up an, another Archon quest, I believe. So there definitely should be quite a bit of new content. Um, yeah, it was it was just slimes, multiple actually, three of them. Um. Drunk that day, of course he was. Min was streaming earlier and lost Wi-Fi. Oh, I was wondering about that. Because I noticed she was streaming, I was lurking for a bit. And um, then I realized, oh wait, there's a new update out. If I continue watching this, then I can't really experience it for myself all that well. Because I like to go into this stuff as blind as possible, as always. So eventually I just decided, you know what? For the sake of my own stream experience being a little bit better, I'm I'm gonna leave the stream. And then later on, before I started my stream, I kind of checked to see um, how her stream was going and I noticed that she was only live for like an hour. So I was curious about why her stream was so short. But if she lost Wi-Fi, then I guess that explains it. That would, de that would definitely explain it. Now, now I just need to hope that I don't lose Wi-Fi. <laughs> If I lose my connection, then that would be stupid. Actually, I'm actually I can't really use, lose Wi-Fi in that sense because I'm using a wired connection. But you know, same problem. If, if my router gives out for any sort of reason, then same problem. She also got rewards now, so got grind for that free commission. Right. That reminds me. I need to. I actually. I actually need to. Um, Sub subscribe to her properly now, now that I can. <laughs> Gotta do that when she's uh, live the next time around. I mean, I could do it even if she's not live, but... Why... why do that? <laughs> when I can get a nice little alert to pop up on stream. <laughs> so, these guys are just idiots. Good to know. Same. All right then. That's all of those done. Now let's head on back and grab our final, final bits of loot. Also, that stuff made me realize that yeah, I'm only, I'm not far away from getting affiliate myself, as you know. Like, out of the four criteria I have to meet, I'm only missing one. 
And I can get that if I can get my average viewer number up by one more viewer. And that got me thinking. I actually need to think about what sort of rewards I would have in that se uh, when that time arrives. So I need to put some thought into that. I mean, there's still time. There is still time, so no problem on that front. Especially, be but I have to admit, the Slender stream as well did pretty decently, probably because I announced it beforehand. We had like aver uh, 3.5 average viewers on the Slender stream, which thank you guys so much. Really appreciate all of you coming to watch me suffer. So, <laughs> was definitely worth the suffering. <laughs> I hope you, well, I don't need to hope that you enjoyed it. Judging by everyone's comments, you definitely did, so. <laughs> um, sorry for missing the Slenderman stream. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. I mean, you can al always watch the archive. Also, because it was um, a little bit of a milestone, I tried my hand at something I haven't done in quite a while. Um, that being making a highlight of the stream using the... Now, I know I could make a proper highlight if I just used a proper editing software, but I decided to just u just use the uh, Twitch editor, the Twitch highlight editor itself, just for an easy time, like I did in the past. I decided, you know what? Let's make a quick highlight reel. So yeah, you can also watch that. It's already over on Twitch because, well, that's where I made it. But you can also wait for it to come out on YouTube if you really want to wait. Um, so yeah, it was worth the watch. I'm glad to hear that. Um, imagine this. Hang on a second, let me. Pre-order a game in September. It comes out in February, the year after. And I get a mail from the store saying, sorry, it's currently up. Please wait three more weeks before we promise delivery date. That sounds... That sounds very, very mean. I'm guessing that has happened to you recently. And I feel very bad for you. I hope that was just like... Damn it, I missed. I hope that was just like a... I hope they can actually deliver a little bit later and don't ha constantly draw it out further and further. Because well, that would just be even more rude. Especially if you pre-ordered. Um, things came up last second. I'm, and I'm the one who recommended it. Felt bad. No need to feel bad. No need to feel bad. Uh, sounds fun. Wanna play the... Re right. The uh, yeah, I... I haven't pre-ordered it yet. Um, I... I haven't pre-ordered it, and I know it's released now. Um, but I'm not sure if I want to get it right away. I'm definitely not getting the limited edition version, because that's probably already out of stock for a long time. Um, can't pre-order anymore. Yeah, it's already out. Yeah, so, I, I just said that. But yeah, I'm not sure when I'm going to get it, but I will probably get it at some point. Considering how much I enjoy ReZero. Speaking of ReZero, again, don't want to say anything just to avoid spoilers, but I watched the newest episode today. And again, it was a ba was an absolute banger. I enjoyed it so much. And I can say this because, again, it's not a spoiler and the last thing I would like to do is spoil you. But it was the, what was it, episode number six. Episode number six of uh, season two, part two, and we finally got to see the new opening for the first time. In episode six, they finally showed the opening for the first time. Jesus Christ, they really do not want to show the opening that much, do they? But it was worth the wait. Abs it was absolutely worth it. Amazing opening. I know the um, song without the visuals had been released for... Uh, for a longer period of time as already, but I decided not to uh, listen to it because I wanted to be surprised when like, the actual opening started playing, and it was definitely worth the wait. I have to, I have to tell you, it was amazing. 
Now I'm just running around here, not doing anything. Let's actually check our new quests. Alatus Chapter Arc 1. Actually, before I do that, let's check in here real quick, just to see if there's any events. Good thing I checked. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here, to, uh, actually. I don't have to feed the... Um, <laughs> so, new trial characters, you're still the same. What about you? What do you want me to do? Uh, the supply of film has ceased. Travelers with sufficient supply of... Alright, so I'm guessing I can't even do this anymore if I wanted to. How nice. Completely missed out on this one. Um, just got the notification that you were live. <laughs> wow. Twitch... Really, some Twitch is really slacking sometimes, I'd have to say. Let's do the test run, try out these characters. I think, uh, besides you, I think all these characters were already available at some point. Or were you also available at some point? I don't think so. Um, Who should we go with first? I think we're gonna save you for last because you're the five star. Let's go with you. Let's go with you first. Just get the quick rewards from testing out these characters. These levels are usually really easy, so there's no reason not to do it. Don't you have like... Oh, it's cryo damage. Yeah, a shield. Knew it. Like this cat-like shield. I, I seem to remember that. Yep. Though I have to admit, I'm not sure when you were for a trial, la uh, when the last time was when you were available for a trial. Your shield definitely doesn't last very long, is what I've noticed. As sad as it is. And you don't appear to be the strongest attacker, but it recharges relatively quickly at least, so... There we go. Not a very powerful shield, but quick recharge. So, I guess that compensates for it quite a bit. How long does it take to charge up your abilities? Come on. Still not charged up? No, never mind, it's charged, it's charged. Let's take care of you real quick. Hopefully someone new will spawn in. Alright, let's just do it. Been a while since I've used you so I am not entirely sure what everything you had to offer did but you're a healer so it makes sense that your attack is not that powerful if you're meant to heal and support because if you're meant to heal and support then why would your attack be incredibly high even though that makes this a little bit more annoying than it probably should be especially these guys having multi shot is just really really annoying but as long as I can knock them down before they can shoot I should be just fine see that simple just knock them down before they can shoot and there's not a single problem. Alright, it's charged again. Let's just use it. Cryo damage. How nice. And... Uh, it's really annoying that you don't have any real powerful attacks. But, I guess I just gotta deal with it. I'm guessing the other ones will go a little bit faster. And of course, it's one of my most hated enemies. How nice of you to show up. 
I just hate Pyro Abyss Mages. All the other Abyss Mages I usually have a nice counter for. But these ones, no matter what I do, their shield just takes forever to break. It's not as bad as the Fatui. But it's still pretty horrible to have to deal with. I mean, seriously. These guys are really annoying. And I have to charge up fully, because otherwise I don't get ele an elemental reaction. And if I don't get an elemental reaction, his shield is not gonna take any damage whatsoever. And... Can I knock him down, please? Alright, keep on going for headshots. Now I'm not sure, can I knock him off here? Or is he gonna respawn if I do that? I hope I can knock him off. Ooh. Come on. Why Why won't you go down again? Also, you actually do a bit of damage, which is... And his shield is back. See what I mean? These guys are annoying. Especially if you don't have a lot of damage output. Usually... Usually I can at least take him down once their shield breaks. But as an archer, I can't really keep him in hit stun long enough. And if I can't stun him, then of course he's able to regenerate his stupid shield. I just noticed I have d different characters available. I am an idiot. Come a little closer. I am such an idiot that I didn't realize that I had other characters available. And why did no one point that out for me? Guys, please. You can clearly see I'm being an idiot. Yet you decide to do nothing about it. Do you enjoy do you enjoy my stupidity that much that you don't want to point it out to me? I think that's it, right? That's probably it. I don't play this game so I didn't know. <laughs> I mean that's fair. To be fair, I'm judging you for something that even I failed to notice, which is that you can, could clearly see the characters on the side of the screen. Well, at the very least, that's one down. Let's actually be a little bit more cautious, but the, I think yours also support, if I'm not mistaken. I think your support. Can't say for certain though, so... Uh, we'll swing her instrument in different levels of Pyro Shield, also a shield character, of course. Blast her opponents with a sound wave. But you're not a ranged attacker, okay. Right, you're the character. Right, I remember you, I remember you. Been a while, but I remember. Also, that charged up far quicker than any of the. than the previous one, so. There we go. Actually, let's take care of you real quick. Don't like the archer. Would rather have you dealt with sooner rather than later. There we go. Never mind, there's already a new archer. And my ability is already recharged. You see how quickly that recharges? I uh, haven't played Genshin in eight months or something. Didn't even get past the 20 hour prologue. Sorry, I need to. I'm not that good at reading while fighting simultaneously, but I'll try my best. Uh, come on. Um, slowly going insane playing Co Cold War right now. Cold War really annoyed me, so I stopped playing in early September, right after it came out. Well, if you're going insane from playing it, that's probably not a good thing. But, actually, hang on. Now, these are also charged. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. You're an idiot. Ah, yeah. Cold War again. Not really my kind of game. I enjoy watching it occasionally on your uh, on your streams. 
But I I think I can get why grinding in that game might get might drive you insane. I'm I'm guessing you're talking about grinding that's driving you insane. Not entirely sure. But grinding in most games can drive you insane after a while. <laughs> Alright, now you. Next up. Yeah, but that's my game for Twitch. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, well, shield herself upon release, she will swing. Uh, so. Alright, so you're a counter character. I started it, I must finish it. You know what? Fair enough, fair enough. Physics, by the way. <laughs> Look at them physics, okay. I mean, I get what you're saying. Like, um, I, I said before that, before I started this channel, like, this isn't the first time I started a channel and decided to stream, but I usually gave up later on. But on one of my past channels, I had a similar experience where, well, and it was not entirely similar, it was very different. It was actually a game that was extremely cringy and horrible when it comes to graphics, collision, everything, but I started it and I decided, no, I started it, so I have to finish it, or at least keep playing until it glitches out so bad that it's impossible to continue. So I get that feel of, I started it, so I must finish it. I I know exactly what that feels like. Respect the dedication. I mean, it, it definitely is respectable. Although, if you really, if it turns into too much suffering, then... Stopping at some point is totally understandable. Also, I really should charge up my skill a bit. Otherwise, this is very much pointless. I, li I literally realized, oh, she's a counter character. And then I was like, yeah, no, I'm just gonna instantly release my counter every single time. Like an idiot. You're next. Not bad, okay then. Now. And there goes your shield. I think this is, yep, final enemy. So really, no reason to worry about anything right now. You gonna attack or something? No? Yes? No? Ooh. And... Just a couple more attacks. Ooh. How did that connect? I mean, I'm not complaining, but... How did I hit him back there? <laughs> well, that was impressive. Pure skill on my part. All right, one more character in the um, test run. So let's go. See what you're up to. See what you can do. Okay, so these elemental skill to quickly shuttle across the battlefield, dealing animal damage to enemies in his path. Can also be used in mid-air. Don the mast in his times, jumping power will increase greatly. Normal attacks, charge attacks, plunging attacks will deal animal damage instead. Continuously lose HP during this time, a state that will end once he leaves the field. That's interesting. Once I upload my first video on YouTube, I'll have to stick uh, stick with it. I mean, there's no going back, I guess. Okay, let's see. Let's see. So this character kind of a double-edged sword. Then again, he doesn't really use a sword. We got another spear character. I can't believe it, we finally got another spear character. 
is 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 he the second or is he already the uh, third character with a spear? I know that for the longest time there was only a single spear character, but I can't quite remember if a second one was added in by now. Before I mean, before this character came out. Oh, okay. That's so. That's how you use the skill. Okay, charge up again and go through. Oh, and it's a double tap. Okay, okay, okay. I, I see, I see you. I get how you work. Let's try this. Alright, losing HP but dealing damage like crazy. Are you seeing this? And this is just basic attacks and not even... There we go. That was more of a skill. Uh, but the effect wears off. Okay. But I can already use it again. Okay. Now I don't really think I'd be... He'd be the character I, I'd use a lot. Considering that I don't really like losing HP constantly. I like having a character build that can actually survive. Rather than dealing huge amounts of damage. Not like uh, dealing huge amounts of damage is a bad thing. But I prefer survival over making quick work of enemies, which is another reason why I have problems with timer-based missions. Now then, let's claim that. Lantern ride, okay. 17 days. Uh, where do we go? Event description. During the event, completing requests under Lantern Ride Tales will increase the festive fever. Fever is divided into three stages. Rules only just begun. Guests flock from afar and glow of a thousand lanterns. Increase festive fever to unlock more quests and more of the story. And the market will open during the event. Market on the first, fifth, and ninth days of the event. Interesting. Uh, what's all that glitters? Complete this quest to complete this quest to unlock the quest the origin of the lanterns. Complete quest to obtain a bunch of stuff. Oh that's the story quest. Well then. I am guessing I know what we are gonna do now. Let's go. Let's see what this is about. My curiosity is piqued, certainly. And up we go. And off we go. Right, I think this is what I saw when I popped in uh, into Min Minstream. When I popped into Minstream, I think she was fighting these literals. So let's do this. Or not. Is this the timeline or is there something weird about those healing spells over there? Uh yeah, sinister energy indeed. We've seen plenty of healing spells before, and they're always the bad guys. But this is different. Uh oh. This is right by the long healing queue. Now we're just doing it for your conscience. Okay then, let's go. They're really not that tough. From the looks of it. Like, what's the difference? They have a little bit more health, I guess? I'm guessing they just have a little bit more health. Not by a lot, but okay. That took a moment for the mask to render. Some sort of Adeptus art. Could he be an Adeptus? We're immediately jumping on the Adeptus bandwagon again, I guess. Mask is kind of similar to the one that she wears. 
but the magic he was using seemed even more adept to see themselves. Shall we go say hi? I'm guessing we have no choice if we want to advance the story. Stars, nat stars natural, okay. Alright then. So Yarn Adeptus. Who are you? One had assumed you were followers, but on closer inspection it seems that we have not met. Yeah, we're just travelers, but you cut us off when we were trying to introduce ourselves, so meanie. Wow. I'm sidekick to the emergency food. For it is good manners to comply. The one before you is the Adeptus, master of stars. The one is better known to one's followers as Star Snatcher. One All right then. One's mountain abode to cleanse the world of evil, whereupon fate saw fit that our paths should cross. Now, tell me that which you wish for. Um, we wish to progress the story. <laughs> there are different levels of Adepti. Are not the stars loftier than the mountains, clouds, and moon? Yet it is unbecoming of an Adepti to boast of one's powers. One would have you first speak to one's followers, and only then make your verdict. So I'm guessing, yeah, next mission is to talk to people. Hooray. Such a difficult quest, wouldn't you agree? Have you seen the master of stars in action? His power truly hails from the divine. I believe that now there is finally some hope for my ailing father. All right, sure. Tell me, tell me. Magic is all the proof you need. A true adeptus, no doubt about it. Not long ago, I sought some really? from him on behalf of my ailing father. The difference with Boo Boo Pharmacy's prescriptions was like night and day, I tell you. Once it was boiled and ready, it gave off this really ethereal mist. Seemed pretty adeptal to me. Hmm. Could have also been because there was mist by in it, though. Adept I yeah. is surely the most potent. <laughs> My father will recover soon. I just know it. Sure, you have to make some sacrifices <laughs> if you seek help from an adeptus like the Master of Stars. Okay. To give a few antiques as offerings. But my father's life is worth much more than a few old relics, right? So... What are the chances of him being some sort of imposter? Just trying to get rewards and everything. You're fake, aren't you? You're a fake. I don't trust you. I probably should trust you, but I don't trust you, faker. You're just trying to gain all sorts of offerings, and you're actually either not gonna do anything to help these people, or, or what I believe to be the, might potentially have been the case with the hilly trolls. You're deliberately causing tr problems to solve them. I know I'm probably more uh, skeptical than I should be, but. You know, better safe than sorry. So I don't trust you yet. Gotta earn my trust. Finally, a life full of hope and purpose. So what are your thoughts on him? Are you believers too? No. After my fiance has been quite the opposite. I cried every day. But still I turned to the master of stars for help. At his suggestion, I started burning paintings of my fiance and casting the ashes into the ocean at sunrise. I can't so? explain it. But it really worked. And that's just advice many people can give you. But this was not some sort of positive thinking trick. I'm certain of it. Yeah. I was so overjoyed that I gave a portion of my wedding budget to the Master of Stars as an offering. After all, more suspicious. I wouldn't be getting my fiance back, in which case I wouldn't need it anyway. It's getting more suspicious. What about you? Master of Stars is around, do they? What do you know about him? Uh, I'm a merchant, and 
I had an especially valuable batch of goods that needed transporting recently. So I asked the Master of Stars if he would make the journey with me, as presumptuous as that was. So? Being, monsters run a mile as soon as he so much as holds up his talisman. Uh, we didn't have the slightest bit of trouble the whole journey. It didn't come cheap, of course, but of course it didn't. Soliciting the services of a god is a monumental affair. Uh, just look at the right of ascension. So I can accept it, but I doubt that most from outside of Lear would be willing to. Hmm. All right, I still think you're a fake. What do you think? One's adherents may exaggerate a little, but they speak from the heart. From their imaginations, I'd say, yeah, their imaginations definitely see you as an adeptus, but I don't. <laughs> Surely you jest. There was once a senior adeptus, Sheer Wu Liang, known to the people as Liang Tzu. He said this, all things are connected. That which mortals call imagination is merely the bridge betwixt the spiritual and the material. In other words, their wishes are already on the path of transitioning into reality. Does this make things clear? Transitioning into reality, so you're admitting they are, uh, they are not real. They can. You are perceptive, my diminutive friend. Okay. Um, so we also have one other question. Oh? You need but ask. Yeah, why do you wear a mask? One wanders among mortals, doing good and cleansing evil. One reveals not one's visage, to avoid further disturbance to this realm than is necessary. Yeah, the probably the only one who takes it that seriously. What are your wishes? Arriving that of the gods, like to get rich quick. All right, if he were a god, why would he give us power rivaling the gods? That's just stupid. This is just the truth. This might be helpful, but this is what we really want. If we're if we're Viewing this from the eyes of our main character, then we want to know where our sibling is. Hmm. One senses that a tragic tale lies behind this wish. That much is obvious. So be it. This wish is not beyond one's power to grant. But first, one must see some proof of your faith. What's that supposed to mean? The way of the Adepti cannot be grasped from words alone. One must seek the profound truths that lie beyond them. Should you fail to perceive one's hidden meaning, then regrettably, one may lend you no aid. <sighs> yeah, he definitely wants his... Wants his part of the deal, yeah. Be it money, not just money, antiques was also something that he has received, so he just wants anything of material of material value. Oh, that's right. Some of those believers mentioned the bandits we are pretty strong for the Adeptus cult, didn't they? Well, Paimon's not forking over any more. And we don't have anything valuable in the Vala. You don't have any Mora in the first place. I have all the Mora. I don't think people put visions up for sale. True. Hey, why don't we make him a tasty snack? Nobody can resist the temptation of good food. Can they? Yeah, no one who shares your values, but... I don't think that's the kind of stuff he wants. Yep, a tasty snack is sure to work. <laughs> if that's what you think. Do you by any chance want me to make double of what I need so you can have some leftovers too? Is um is that your plan? 
Well, not like I really care all that much. Let's just move on. Let us move on. You have a quest for me. I like quests. Feed the puppy I met earlier. Feed it. Too busy. Um, fed the puppy for so long. Could he help me? Yeah. What should I feed it? Fawn, I think. Pop wolf, please. I have decided. We will do this. We will do this right now. Animals take priority. And then we'll get back to to the stuff. Does Quigley want to feed the little puppy? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Get ready and... I am here to bring you food. Get back here. Where are you? Where do you go? Where do you go? Come back. Oh, feed. Alright, note to self. Um, dogs don't appreciate it if you stab them from up in the sky. Got it. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. What about little girls? Do they appreciate it? Well, they certainly don't mind at least. Should have eaten its fill. Okay then. So that's now completed. Now let's go back to my quests. Navigate. And let's go do that. Ah, uh, up here, okay. Well, time to go up the stairs. Hello. Oh, he's here. So, you'd like a copy of Yaksha's The Guardian Adepti? Yes. Here. And keep the change. Okay. Oh, aren't you generous? Thank you for your patronage. Well, I mean, he has a lot of money. Adept incidents. I. He's clearly just putting on a show, right? Did you hear the name of the book you just bought? Was it Yaksha's The Guardian Adepta? Yeah, he's studying up on Adepta, oh, so he can in imitate them better. I always found him fishy. He's, it's not because he's a narcissist, although I wouldn't put it past him. Really? What's so fishy about him? Everything? Did you even pay attention at all? Charlatan, if you ask me. So, what you're trying to say is that he can't grant people's wishes? Hmm. Why don't think you should check out that book? Maybe we'll find out something about this guy that we can use. Very well, let's see if they have another one in store in stock. Hello. No. There we go. Do you have another one in stock? When did that old chestnut become a bestseller? You're a rare breed of youngster if this is what you like to read. But you should be able to find a copy somewhere on that shelf over there. Thank you. I'll be taking that. Um Okay, got it. Ancient times, Leela was a land of misery, where the 
the shadow of evil loomed large. As slain gods festered, their vengeful wrath cursed the world, manifesting in infernal forms. When demons stirred, miasmas, monsters, and mutations infested the land. Then Rex Lapis summoned the Yakshas to vanquish the demons. They swore an oath. Restore order through slaughter, purge evil through battle. To this, we dedicate our lives. Eons of bloodshed later, karmic death weighed upon them, phantom wrath seeping into their broken souls. They went mad with fear, turned on each other, or succumbed to the darkness. Of the oh. five foremost Yakshas, death came to three, while the fourth vanished. Without a trace. In the millennia since, one conqueror of demons remains the sole surviving Yaksha in the mortal realm. And only on moonlit nights, in the glow from Gruen, and in the sound of the Dihua flute, is his memory preserved. Well then. That's certainly not the person who's running around. We know who that is. Gotta go, but I'm gonna leave my tablet running just to get the average viewers up or what. I mean, you don't have to, but I appreciate you looking out for me in that department, so I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain, but <laughs> seems a little bit cheap to do that just to get the average viewers up to, uh, through, through those means. But I get that you're just trying to help, so thanks. About the soul surviving Yaksha, who isn't Star Snatcher. We know that. I think he's trying to make people believe he's no, the one surely not. He doesn't exactly give off the impression that he's been suffering for thousands of years. Yeah, that's because he's a, p a poor actor. Well, it's also about demons. All of these are kind of right, but oh well. From the visuals? Actually, Paimon, that's a thought I didn't have until now. You know, Paimon, she does have her moments. She, she's usually as uh, stupid as they come, but sometimes she definitely has her moments. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Is he just doing that as well to put on a show? He definitely has some sort of a special talis talisman. I'm not, in I'm not quite sure what that's about or where he got it, but I'm guessing we'll find out. The book says that the Yakshas, after fighting against the wrath of the gods for thousands of years, became bound by karma. Poisoned by the hateful thoughts of the gods, the Yakshas would often descend into indescribable fits of terror, rage, or agony. Oh. So tragic. After everything they went through in all of their years of protecting Lila, they got no reward and had to deal with so much suffering instead. I mean, nothing else I can think of, yeah? Other than, you know, Star Snatcher being not who he claims to be. Yeah, she is way too into this, but I don't really mind too much. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, 
Keep dreaming, keep dreaming, Paimon. But if we get our hopes up, there's further for them to come down. So it makes sense to investigate fairly first, just to be sure. Well then, let's get going. And off we go. Let's see. Anyone around? I definitely see these shadows still emerging from the ground. And there's more of those hilly trolls. Why are there still shadows emerging from over here? There has to be some significance to this, right? Or is this just where the previous hilly trolls would have been? And the smoke is still rendering in, but the hillitrolls themselves aren't. Because if that's the case, then that should probably be fixed sooner rather than later. Hello. Flee at my command, foul demon. That might be just one of those talismans that uh, d don't they grant quite a bit of power to the user? That might just be what's going on. Why, why won't you flee? But don't they, they only last for a limited time, right? I think this guy doesn't know what's up. And if he has problem, You know. If he's having trouble with Hillitrals, even if they are the slightly more powerful ones, then you know for sure he's not an Adeptus. Because what kind of Adeptus would have trouble with basic hillitrals. I mean, not entirely basic, but you get what I'm saying. Oh, I don't get it. Why it was a sigil of permission. Do anything? I knew it. I knew it. Has the evil aura of these hillitrals grown in intensity? <laughs> Both of our looks describe everything. Uh, yeah, the get out and free card. Yeah, we know this. But they don't last permanently. One is merely underslept, meaning that one's adeptal power is not in full flow. Well, one sure. Of evil hilly trolls over there. Should we leave them to you then? <laughs> I, I, uh, one suddenly feels ill at ease. Surely one has overexpended one's adeptal powers. Otherwise, one would I knew it. Purge these infernal beings at once. <sighs> so you were just bragging after all. We were right to be suspicious. You weren't suspicious at all, Paimon. Up, oh, time to go hunting, I guess. Well, there's a chest here. There we go. Did I get everything? I think so. Wait, I'm still under. You're still alive. Idiot. Should have stayed down. Alright, I can already see him. What do I even need elemental sight for? Hey, there's someone over there pretending to be you. It's me, 
purging some living beings that had been tainted by the demonic. It would appear that I have caused you some trouble. What? Who is it that made this cry? What's going on? But you are exercising demons! How is that causing trouble? That is because the changes that occurred in these monsters stem from me. Or more precisely, from the karma I have accumulated. There we go. You're just now realizing it. Yeah, he is. He is. We read about it in that book, but we... That connection... I mean, okay, maybe I made it out to be obvious, just because he's currently the main advertised character here. Yeah, we we read about it. I see. You must mean that piece of literati fan fiction from a few hundred years ago. <laughs> hmm. All things are impermanent, and to exist is to suffer. We Yakshas have no need of sympathy or tears. My comrades who have passed on would see your tears as a stain upon their legacy. Oh, uh, I'm I'm sorry. It matters not. In any case, I am on my way to purge a cavern of demonic influence, so we shall part ways here. I mean, I can help. Great! I can help you! We'll be a big help! Paimon promises! Well, Paimon won't be a big help, but, you know. I am used to fighting alone. And in any case, these mutations originated from me to begin with. Well then... Oh! Consider it Paimon's penance for being accidentally rude just now! Hooray! Um, so, Cheryl, you've been suffering from the bad karma all this time? Suffering is my price to pay for eons of endless slaughter. I have come to accept this. But in recent years, Immortal. the other living things have suffered, when the burden should be mine alone to bear. I must reflect on this. Sure, you go ahead and reflect while we fight. I can probably use him as a party member, can't I? You know, trial character in slot 5. Probably. This doesn't seem safe. The ritual known as the bane of all evil to relieve this place of its karma. You must remain calm. Do not allow yourself to be affected by the lingering wrath of bygone gods. Well then. As a result of the building of divine karma in the area, will have pain of all evil permanently activated and will constantly lose HP. The effects of divine karma will allow him to regenerate when he deals damage. Interesting. So, overall, just keep on hitting them so you don't die. And welcome back, Ducky. We just found out that there was someone pretending to be an Adeptus, and we met the real one he's trying to pretend to be. So, yeah. Just trying to kill enemies right now, because as long as I kill enemies, I don't die. Gotta go sleep. See you next time, fam. Well, uh, thank you for coming by, Blob. Really appreciate it. And see you around, I guess. Oh, there's a timer as well. So I need to kill them not just to keep myself from dying, but also to keep the timer from running out. Time between kills cannot be exceeded. Alright, there's, so there's an overall, there's, 
Okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. I mean, I've just been slaughtering them without even noticing the timer for a very long time. Yeah, we know. I'm gonna die. Yeah, focus. Thank you. Thank you for informing me to focus. I'm currently in the process of doing just that. Damn it. Get down from there. Get down from there. Nope. You missed. You hit. And you're dead. Uh, chest? No chest. Okay. Moving on. Oh, chest. Okay, moving on up. Don't wanna die, don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. So I need to kill. I need to kill if I don't want to die. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Actually, no, kill or... D Not really be killed, because no one's really killing me. I am just dying completely by myself if I don't kill enough people. Without any outside influence whatsoever. Stupid idiot. Die. You too. And finally you. And there's more. Wait a moment. You're really annoying. Speaking of annoying, I can see one of my most hated enemies has appeared. Hooray. But he's already down. Really? Well, I appreciate that. I really do. That easy? An unusual number of living things had fallen under infernal influence. Had we not arrived in good time, the consequences would have been unthinkable. Now, this star snatcher you speak of what is the situation someone's pretending to be you an adept is to grant wishes to think that people could be so easily deceived by such blatant lies they believe what they want to believe the Leela of yesteryear would never ask the adept eye for boons unearned millennia ago the ancestral people of Leela Asked for nothing more than the strength to defend the land they call their home. Uh, to be honest, an adepta who grants people's wishes is probably more appealing to people nowadays. However, mayhaps people nowadays may be, they are not my concern. I concern myself only with following Rex Lapis's original decree. Yep, I haven't spoke with that person in a moment. Nothing out of the ordinary here. That fake adeptus has a sigil of permission, which what he uses to exercise demons. Wait. Truly? <laughs> Fool. Exercising demons without exterminating them. It is no wonder they have been congregating here. If this continues, things may spiral out of even my control. We must confiscate his sigil of permission. Yeah. That's it? Just confiscated? Nothing else? Or rather fool everyone. Them. <laughs> it 
it would certainly benefit Lirith if we could convince him to cease his wicked ways. There you go. An arch called Dream Trawler. It is normally used to separate the soul from the body. Then one might cultivate oneself in a waking dream. But it can also be used to call forth the spirits of others. Similar to it'll scare him out of splits for sure. That's what we're using it for. Must be performed for this art okay. To be used. Assist me in gathering a few items: a sensor, seven lamps, and something to reduce the temperature. Reduce the temperature. Oh, some mist flowers will probably do, right? I should have some. Hopefully. Lamps. In the wild. Do you know of the two Yaksha statues that stand guard beside a merchant road on the southern face of Mount Tianhong? The ancestors of the people of Lyra built shrines there to honor the Yakshas. You should still be able to find some ceremonial items there. Once you have found them, meet me at the Yaksha statues after nightfall, and I will teach you how to use this art. We're gonna learn some stuff. Also, why did we even come along? He did all the fighting. I mean, we were playing as him, but he did all the fighting. So offering to come along was just entirely pointless. Well then. I always appreciate it when my goal is right next to a teleport point. A lot less travel time. And the dialogue got cancelled. Sorry about that. I try not to skip anything, but that just happened. I like to borrow a sensor and some lamps. Isn't that something? A pair walk into a shrine, neither to seek nor worship gods or adepti, but to pilfer the tools of worship for their own ends. <laughs> we know it's rude to ask, but we just need them for a short while. Honest. I mean, we could even pay. Uh, yeah. Shrine for far longer than you would expect. Perhaps as a reward for my faithfulness, I have been endowed with some understanding of the Adepti Arts. Wow. I have never heard of that happening before. Ah, it matters not. Take what you need. It is a fortuitous thing that these items may be of service to you. It may serve greater purpose here, in any case. You're looking at the nest. <laughs> well, thanks. You are quite welcome. Please take what you wish. Okay then. This sensor should be fine, right? A little bit big. At least it isn't as run down as the shrine. Is there a temple after transferring? Yep. Let's get to it. Investigate, okay. I'll do that. I need to get up from the side. I said I need to get up from the side. How? How can I not make it past here? Well, that's just stupid. Anyway, I require lamp. Light is lamp. We got lamp. And one more lamp issues I see. Well, climbing issues are a common thing. Also, yeah, lamp. <laughs> uh, 
and the final lamp. He gone. Well, apparently not. Hello? Yeah, here's a thank you. Where are you? My physical form ceased to exist over a thousand years ago. What you witnessed earlier was an illusion created by the Adepti Arts known as Mortal Lingering. Okay. Now that you have taken the seven star lamps and sensor used in the Mortal Lingering ritual, my form is no longer visible to you. Great reply. So you're, you, you're a g g g ghost. <laughs> we are absolutely terrified. <laughs> it is not untrue to say this. The line between adepti and ghosts is a fine one indeed. I was once a junior. In His text boxes take quite a while to switch over. Well, uh, happy anniversary, my guy. <laughs> and so I took the liberty of performing this ritual here. That aside, you were sent here by the conqueror of demons, were you not? Mayhaps. So, you two know each other then? I sense his aura upon you. That and the heavy burden of his karma. <sighs> Go on. must endure such tremendous suffering. I am truly ashamed. Glad to see you laughing, Ducky. I guess I'm still somewhat entertaining. I require lamp. We all require lamp. When I think of the burden that the conqueror of demons must bear, that seems to me to have been the easy way out. A selfish Don't say that. Just <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. Birthdays are joyful occasions. But by the same token, it is hard not to be melancholy on the anniversary of one's death. The mortal lingering will not last much longer. Take care, you two. We will. Please pass on my regards to the conqueror of demons. We will take care. We don't care about you, but we will take care. And we will take lamp. If only I could taste some authentic grilled ticker fish once more. Can we make an offering later? Wave and storm I hunt for fish. By wind and snow I slay evil. But you got a beautiful home here. I mean, we, we remember, but we won't remember for long, because my brain can't hold any information that's not absolutely necessary. <laughs> We're gonna encounter something on our way back, aren't we? Well, this is still faster, so... And off we go. The view is nice. Now then. Hello. I have arrived and I have brought you lamp so let's take it down what what where why when 
I, I don't see anything. Paimon, would you be so kind as to enlighten me on what's going on? Paimon? I mean, there's something over in that direction on the map. Paimon, please enlighten me. I don't see what you're talking about. I just see plot progression here. So let's just focus on plot progression, I guess. Have you gathered the items for the ritual? Indeed. Hmm. I have lamp. This censer and these lamps. Their designs are flawless. Almost as if they were made specifically for use in the Adepti Arts. Where did you come by them? Well, I mean... Speaking of Adepti, right? <laughs> Paimon is food? I mean, I know. We all know. But who, what's wrong with her enlightening me before I consume? <laughs> uh, I mean, seriously, I don't even know. How did the devs come up with this little inside joke? I mean, it's a good one, but how did they decide, you know what? She looks like she's edible. <laughs> there must have been some thought behind it. But I guess I'll never know. Oh, and, um, that you don't know either? Well, that's fair. Yes. This does have the hallmarks of something Vervasius might do. As I thought, it seems that he could not leave Leo behind either. I hope that his present state will allow him to rest in peace. Hmm. Mayhaps. Well then. Let us begin preparing for the ritual. He did seem to have some regrets. Center in the middle and surround it with his seven star lamps. Adorn the area with the items of abject cold. Once this is done, we shall proceed. Very well. Yes, this will do. Now, the next step is the key to performing dream trauma. There Go are four on. steps to performing this ritual. Offering incense, meditation, Incantation and loosing an arrow. Get with the real rigmarole. Adepti arts are the product of millennia of study by Adepti. Do not dismiss their mystical workings as rigmarole. Failure to take this seriously could cause the technique to devour one's own body <laughs> or cause the spirit to be sundered from one's flesh permanently. You hear that, Paimon? Offering the incense, we place the incense into the censer with Reverend Ferex Lapis in our hearts. Meditation is to empty ourselves of trivial thoughts and to focus on the target of the art we are performing. Then we shall recite the incantation in a loud voice. Devayaksha, bring forth Sin. Finally, we will loose an arrow towards each of the Yaksha statues to enlist their authority for our contract. If all goes well, okay. the Star Snatcher's soul will be brought forth shortly. Understood it perfectly. You have no other questions. Let us begin. All right, offering incense, chanting the incantation, shooting arrows. I can shoot arrows, no problem. Oh. Ah. Hmm. Are you just talking for us now? All right. Devayaksha, bring forth sin. Here we go. Bring forth sin. didn't chant it completely. I hope it still works. That's one. And two. I did it. Well, you didn't chant the full incantation, but okay. Close enough. Yeah, that's what I. You two get ready to greet him. 
He's still wearing the mask, even here. Uh, you two look familiar. What's with one's body? One feels light, weightless. Guess what? You're already dead. <laughs> Omae wa mo shinderu. Dead? <laughs> Impossible. One was just lying in peaceful repose at Wang Shu Inn. Wait. That must be it. Of course it must. <laughs> I suspected of an adeptus such as oneself. One must indeed be in a dream. Well, there's no helping this guy, is there? Yeah, uh, yeah, no, not dreaming. Huh? Idiot. What is the meaning of this? Do you truly think that one will commit such insolence in one's own dreams? All right, time to take him down a peg. Okay. Wait, it's an actual fight. Are you dumb enough to fall for this? Let's see. You actually are. Needs them. Wow. You are incredibly weak. I surrender. I surrender. So, hang on. It is possible to directly attack someone's soul. What happens if you kill someone's soul? Now that we know that you can actually attack them. Do you just erase someone from existence entirely if you manage to kill their soul? Is that how it works? Because I'm not sure this was brought up before. But this very scene clearly proves you can attack someone's soul directly, not just their body. And I'm not sure what to make of that. I really don't know. So, going to do the one, oneself. I mean, he's clearly not doing it, but yeah. Yes, yes, I do. Oh, I was gonna die. Oh, I'd never have the misfortune to meet you two. Please, great adept, I spare my life. I won't do this ever again, I swear it. You did call your spirit here, but we're not adepti. You, however, is. You deceive the masses with quackery. Masquerade as an adeptus. Exorcise demons without exterminating them. And display a callous lack of regard for life. And it's raining. Day, Perfect change in atmosphere. That which you have sown. For those who invite the infernal into their lives, there is no redemption. Uh, I... Great Adeptus, uh, might I ask your name? Um, Vigilant Yaksha. I can never be you. It's truly you. Never in my life did I imagine that I might meet the conqueror of demons, the Vigilant Yaksha himself. Do you know about Jack? I mean, yeah, he's re been reading the book. He's imitating my him. My grandfather was a folklorist. I learned the tales of the conqueror of demons at his knee. To this day, I am an avid collector of books concerning the Yakshas. But ever since I discovered the sigil of permission while rummaging through my grandfather's personal effects, at first I was just imitating the Adepti for fun. Slowly, I began to stray further and further from the righteous path. Huh. So to sum you up, you're Xiao's biggest fan? Yes. All righty then. For allowing me to witness the conqueror of demons in the flesh. It's like a dream come true. Uh, that wasn't quite our intention. Also meet him in the f oh, well, yeah. Conqueror of demons. Please allow me to swear this oath before you. I swear to turn away from evil, to live an honest life, and to never again stain the name of the Adepti. Shouldn't have done it in the first place. Thank you. A thousand thanks for your forgiveness and for all that you have done for me. And he's gone. He seemed very earnest when he was making that oath there. Guess he won't be tricking anyone anymore. Uh, wait, we haven't gotten the sigil of permission back yet. Let's head over to Wang Shu In first thing tomorrow and look for him.
go to the end let's move Have you seen that dude? We don't know his actual name. Starcatcher's staying here, right? Starcatcher. Hmm. You mean the false adeptus who wore a mask? Yeah, we don't know his actual name. Under the name Wong King I. There we go. It's a really normal name, indeed. He said he wished to go on a solo pilgrimage. Ah, yes. He also requested that I give this letter to a traveler who journeys together with a talking fairy, should they come asking for him. Well, Paimon? <laughs> well, anyway. He could have said emergency food. Here's the letter. How strange that he would leave a letter for us. Is this the final attempt to fool us, maybe? Or it might contain the sigil. I'm just curious. Is it the sigil? I'm still reading it. Can you shut up for a second? By the time we read this letter, not just food. Yeah, not just food, but also apparently a fairy. Can you eat fairies? By the time we read the, I mean, you probably can, but would it be good for you? Is the question you should ask. We've embarked upon a journey to self-improvement. I regret that I cannot apologize to the two of you in person, but I hope you will forgive me since a cloud of demons appeared to me in a dream. I have not slept. My nights have been spent thinking about how I may fulfill my vow. Not only have I decide, uh, deceived you two, but I have also exploited the hopes and dreams of my believers. People in dire straits oft become weak, thirsting blindly after something they, to believe in. With my lies I brought them false salvation, while their true desires grew further and further away. I know in that long gone era the desires of mankind were not as complicated as they have now become. The conqueror of demons shouldered the desires of Leo's people as he contended with demons. Wearing his mask he concealed the weakness brought by human desire. As a false adeptus, I am one who always wears a mask. A true adeptus only needs to wear it when facing demons, but I wear a mask to hide the evil that has corrupted my heart. Then the conqueror of demons wears a mask to hide the part of him that is human. And yet he wears the face of a demon king only that he might subdue all demons. Once I had realized this, I became deeply aware of my own ugliness. Oh no, he's ugly too. No, I, 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 I know what he means, but still... <laughs> It also makes sense that he would actually be ugly and that's why he would hide his face constantly. <laughs> I know he means that he's ugly on the inside, but still. In my head canon, he's also he also has a purely hideous face in addition to <laughs> to everything else. Oof. <laughs> but can you blame me for thinking that? And I understood what it truly means to be an Adeptus. I set off on this journey over hill and river, strengthening my body and spirit, not because I harbor any hope of fulfilling atoning for my sins, do it only to earn the right to be counted among the believers of, of the Adepti. I have already asked someone to return the money I cheated others of. Few goods remain in my possession, but they are of no use to me on my journey of self-improvement. Please take them. Please take the sigil of permission that my grandfather left me as well. I am no longer worthy of it. I wish that you will be granted that which you desire. May we meet again. Wang Pangan, a sinner. This is all thanks to... Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, let's go take the sigil of permission to Xiao, shall we? Well, let's do it. So where are you at? Just downstairs? Hi. Oh, there you are. We have the sigil. Do you wanna take it? You have my thanks. May I take your order, sir? One grilled tikka fish. Certainly. We'll prepare it for you immediately. Huh. No almond poker this time? Well that's not what That's what the other adept has wanted and he's gonna offer. Yeah. 
yeah. just wanted to see how it tastes. All that. I was gonna kind of imagine you'd make an offer or something. By wave and storm I hunt for fish. By wind and snow I slay evil. <clears throat> Is there anything else? We'll leave you be then. And so, Detective Grimer Prediction? and the trusty traveler solved the case and quietly slipped away. Prediction and what? What? What prediction? My prediction of him making an offering rather than eating it? Or do you have your own prediction about something? A new quest. Also, there's another um, thing, magic side quest down there. Uh, but what do you want now? My prediction? Yeah. I mean, sadly, I was kind of mistaken a little bit. But then again, he might he might actually be making an offering. After all, he wanted us to leave him, so maybe he's actually gonna take the food uh, to go and then go and make his offering. Lantern ride? You mean the thing the event quest is all about? Don't you know? On the first full moon of the first month each year, Ryoa celebrates the Lantern Rite. It's a festival to commemorate the heroes from the past. After dark, the people release Xiao and Ming Xiao lanterns into the night sky. Oh, may the flames of wisdom spread to all and never be extinguished. This is the meaning of the lanterns. We believe they act as the beacons in the night. Guiding bygone heroes back to their homeland. Wow, it sounds like a grand festival. I mean, it is. A grand festival, we of course, you of course. You want to get involved in the lantern rite? <sighs> That's great. The festive period leading up to the day itself is all part of the celebration. <laughs> During this time, we pray to bring peace and ward off bad luck. Ryoa locals call it bidding farewell to the old and welcoming the new. If you're looking for well, then. part, it's not too late. Oh, so, what do we need to do to take part? So. Also what? If you're able to, <clears throat> could you try to convince Xiao to go with you? We're not Wait. close. I wouldn't know how to ask him myself. But it seems that you've grown familiar. Given his current mood, and he isn't exactly the kind of person who likes to hang out with others. Yeah, Paimon thinks it might be best to leave him alone for a few days. Ah, <sighs> I suppose you're right. Anyway, just thought I'd mention it. You should get yourself down to the harbor. If you leave too late, the city will be crowded with people and you won't be able to make the most of it. Get going. Happy Lantern Rite. The origin of the lanterns. Quest started. Now then, uh, let's quickly pick up the little side quest down here. Uh, where exactly? There. Got some extra stuff. You. What's unexpected? Seek the adept die. Hardest burn words you are no poet i know i know i'm no poet i try my best at poetry but i know i suck please no need to be harsh poetic spirit itself is fraught with many meanings hold your horses what favor what 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 do you want like this i am to offer up a poem for liue don't laugh at me, okay? All traveled mileage must surely be in many fields, including of social grace. Um, go through the city. Yeah, sure, sure. If you think I'm no poet, then I'm not gonna write a poem for you. But I can definitely g gather intel and stuff like that. About inspiration. Sure. Hmm. 
That much I can do, I guess. But not right now. You know how it is, main quests first. And by main quest main quests first I mean quests that are kind of dependent on events. Let me just double check real quick. That that's what's going on. Uh, glitters. The Origin of the Lanterns. Complete the Origin of the Lanterns, I'm working on it. Lantern Ride Tales. And, okay, to unlock them I need to complete that stuff first. What about this? Also Origin of Lanterns, okay, mark it. Stage 1. Okay, stage two, and stage three. Celebration, lantern light, limited item. Name card style, you know what, if it's a limited item name card style, and that's a one-off thing, then I'm definitely tempted to get it, if I can. <laughs> now then, we have work to do. indeed we have. Sorry, but for you, I know I probably can't do that anymore. So we're just gonna move straight on to over here. Young man, if I may be so bold, how much for the floating chair? <laughs> the floating thing is um, very interesting. It can give some very stupid advice. It's not very helpful, but it can have some insight sometimes. And it should be very nutritious if you're ever feeling starved. So, because it's so valuable, I don't think you could potentially afford it. Feel free to convince me otherwise if you have tons of money. But you probably can't. What a strange thing to say! What do you mean strange? <laughs> it's only natural. You're exp you realize how... T how expensive talking emergency food would be. But Simon, curious? What number did you have in mind exactly? <laughs> Forget it. We'll just assume you meant Paimon is worth more than Mora can buy. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm having some financial trouble recently. I probably couldn't afford it. Also appreciate how everyone's got how we've decided to call Paimon it now rather than she. <laughs> But what number would we have in mind? Honestly, considering how Mora is not really much of a concept for me right now, since I rarely ever spend it, I don't know how... I really don't know how much I would even request. Just a lot. I'm just a small-time merchant anyway. I don't deal in rare and exotic treasures. Well, that's a thing I haven't... Called her. My, someone's in a grumpy mood, aren't they? Here, maybe some candy will make You know how to get to Paimon, don't you? <laughs> We've been calling you a thing this entire time, but the moment someone offers you even the slightest, am littlest amount of food, you just don't care anymore. You only that's just become your main focus. It is very typical. Oh. Pretty much, yeah. This year's Ningxiao Lantern is supposed to be a sight well worth the wait. The plastrite that will lift the lantern into the air is the largest in 20 years. It's big enough to make you wonder if the fabled floating city in the clouds really does exist. I guess it must just be held up by a similarly sized chunk of plastrite. Sounds awesome! You mean the city I could always see in the skybox? to Liyue. Well, I can't speak for the whole of Liyue Harbor, but you're always welcome in my store, at least. How many stores? That is indeed quite a lot. I'm Ching Ching. I just donated Dolly. She's my rag doll. And why do you donate her? Kind of been looking for a long time. Has anything ha um, notable happened? 
anything noteworthy? I mean, we've been progressing with this event story. Define not noteworthy. I mean, so far I've had a couple of really good predictions. Like, for example, I was able to call out the the fact that this one guy was pretending to be an Adeptus. I was able to call that out right away. But it wasn't exactly subtle. Um, and... Then there was the one thing about one Adeptus' favorite food, where he talked about it and I was like, huh, someone's gonna make an offering. And then someone else ordered it like, and said he wanted to be left alone. Also lamp, yes, Ducky. Thank you for reminding me about lamp. <laughs> A bunch of lamp. Someone's not sure about anything. Speaking of lamp, there is so much lamp here. Look at all this lamp. So much lamp. Lamp. There is lamp. Here is lamp. All is lamp. Alright, next target then. What about you? This year's Ling Xiao Lantern is dedicated to Skybreaker. He always was a show-off. I'm sure he will be very pleased. Well, that's the plan. I do hope they make the antlers big enough. They were his pride and joy, after all. The story goes... That the antlers were made from the very essence of Rex Lapis's divine power, which made it the hardest material in all of Lure. But when that fateful battle happened, the gods exchanged powerful blows, and the mountains started collapsing. To avoid impacting the villagers at the foot of the mountain, the Adeptus got his friend to chop his antlers off. He used those blood-drenched antlers as a wedge to prop up the mountain. And if that wasn't enough of a sacrifice, he then kept on fighting until his blood was drained and his life ran out. Wow. To him, Talk about dark. Hung still stands tall and proud to this day. And the blood that he lost in the battle turned into the Bi Shui River. <laughs> Whether you believe the story or not, I'm just happy you're willing to listen to me tell it. I mean, sure, I don't have anything better to do. Phantom right exists is because people throughout the ages have chosen to come together as friends rather than stay in isolation. Goodbye. May the flames of wisdom spread to all and never be extinguished more stories i'm guessing we're just running around listening to people talk about uh, well anything really but i have to admit i already liked this place a lot and now the atmosphere is even nicer than it was before i said before that i like this place much more than monster and now my opinion of it has improved even more. Now be honest guys, if you could choose between Liyue Harbor and Mondstadt, which place would you rather live in? Because I'm gonna be honest, Liyue Harbor by far. While sure, Mondstadt may be better fortified and stuff, but you can't tell me that this place wouldn't just be a, a, an amazing place to live in. So, my choice, definitely, definitely Leo Harbor. Also, yes, because of lamp. <laughs> because lamp adds to the atmosphere. And I am very much drawn to lamp.
Now then. My quest is to listen to people, so let's listen to some more people. I guess. Lamp is 10 out of 10. <laughs> Glad to see you agree. Market is centered around it. Oh, hello. Who are you? I'm Zhang Zhou. Recently, I've been tracking progress on the construction of the Ming Shao Lantern. You seem like newcomers. Is this your first lantern ride? Yes. How can you tell? Well, I don't remember running into any weird and wonderful mascots at last year's festival. I'm sorry, I think you mean it to say emergency food? Oh no, it's getting. Oh no, it's turning daytime. It's turning daytime. But I enjoy nighttime. Nighttime is where you can appreciate lamp the most. You'll see lots of people releasing little lanterns during the festival. Those ones are called Shao Lanterns. But there's also a huge one, a joint effort by all the people of Liyue Harbor. That one is called the Ming Shao Lantern. Almost every business in Liyue has a booth at the annual Shao Market. But despite its popularity, this is the one time of the year they're not looking to make a profit. The street market exists so This is up there just based on lamps. Required for the Ming Shao Lantern construction. I mean so far. So far it kind of seems like it. I mean even before this whole lantern ride, our uh, the quest before getting to the lantern ride involved um for example, obtaining seven lamps to use in another ritual. And they didn't add any new parts to the map despite it being a big update. I was kind of expecting that to be on uh, expecting them to add a new part to the map. Because I think they added a new part to the map in version in the 1.1 update and in the 1.2 update, but now in the 1.3 update they didn't add any new sections to the map. At least not that I can tell by looking at it. So, kind of disappointed in that department. But who knows, who knows. Maybe maybe that the new section just isn't unlocked yet. Or are they gonna ha or they're just gonna have a lot of content to make up for the for the fact that they didn't add more map this time around. I mean they definitely made up for it. Instead of adding more map, they added lamp. Just lamp. <laughs> Nothing else. Showing off your craft is a great way to drum up a reputation. But even if there's no more to be made, what more do you need? Everyone is secretly going all out to get their produce under the spotlight. Thanks to Mia, it's so smart. If you need any help, you can look for Wangya. She's overseeing the lantern right. I guess we know who we're talking to next. Somewhere around the Shao Market. She's your first port of call. Oh, will she know which stall sells the tastiest stuff? I shouldn't be surprised. When it comes to the lantern, right? No one knows more than she does. Got it. Let's go to the Shao Market and look for Wang Ya. And then go to the stall with the tastiest food and eat till we're stuffed. Also. Even if we can't appreciate all the lamps um, as much during the daytime, I think it still looks amazing. Sure, it looks a lot better during the night time, but even during the day, I still think it looks really nice. Seriously, if I could live here, I totally would. Only problem being, <laughs> if one were to live in this world, you wouldn't have access to, to video games anymore, or the internet, or any kind of electronics, really. That's the only downside. <laughs> I'm walking in the wrong direction. Well, my dumbass is just walking up the stairs where my target is actually right next to me. Lamp is always amazing. Hi, can I help you? Uh, yeah, I was just walking up the stairs to look for you when you were actually right next to me. Also, I see those Fatui back here. Don't like it. From the look of you, you don't hail from Liyue. Are you traveling through? Welcome to the Shell Market. Um, you definitely are overseeing the ride because I can see your name here, and it literally is, literally says Lantern Ride Manager. But okay. Overseeing? Not exactly. The Lantern Ride Festival belongs 
to the whole of Liyue. It's not just yeah, but you're the manager. To oversee. I'm just taking care of a few small things, doing my bit to make sure everyone who joins in the festivities has a good time. Well, um, let's ask questions about food, for example. Alright, sure. From last year's Lantern Light, compiled by the Ministry of Civil Affairs. It has a few operational tips for our vendors. If you're heading in that direction, it'd be a great help. I think I've got a gift for you when we get back. Gifts always are nice. Well, let's not walk up the stairs again. Crowded. Also, very crowded. Of course, it is very crowded here. Ah. Yeah, can't can't you see how crowded it is around this food stall? There's like two people in line. So incredibly crowded. You definitely need to bring the guards here. All right. Here's your stupid document. for yourself I can do anything on the menu or if there's something in particular you're after I can do that instead everything naturally if there's a dish I can't cook I've yet to hear about it uh, here's a document same every year the old operational tips how's this for a tip Leave the handbook to one side and concentrate on the killer cooking. Uh, hand it over. I'll use it to feed the fire later. Wow. Place your orders, aren't you? Two people can be a lot in co uh, in context. A in a queue, no. In certain situations, maybe. Hmm. Now I. Speaking of, you know, certain situations, I get the feeling that there are certain situations where two could be a lot. And the way you phrased it makes it seem like, a, like you're talking about a certain context that I can't really talk about too much on here. But yeah, I, 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 I think I get, <laughs> get where this stuff might be problem. But seriously, one of them is a kid, one of them was a child. So let's not go there. Uh you mean your way of ordering your dinner? Yeah. The Big Bang. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I meant that. Science stuff. Time. Nerd stuff. Of course. Okay, here's your grilled tiger fish. What do you think? Mm, delicious. We're absolutely talking about science stuff. And nothing else. Of course. What kind of a guide would Paimon be otherwise? <laughs> well, hope you enjoy your food. I gotta see to some other customers. If you get hungry again, you know where I am. How did I get over here? Well, PG stream only science stuff. Couldn't agree more. So I brought your document. Yeah, and he doesn't like your uh, documents. Yeah, he wanted to just burn it. Oh yeah? He said that last year too. If he'd listened to our marketing tips, he'd be doing even better by now. Anyway, but he's still doing decently. Who's the guy you're talking about? This 
Shell Lantern is for you. Wow, such a beautiful lantern. How is it made? Uh, I'm afraid I wouldn't be able to explain the process concisely. But if you're interested in Shell Lanterns, you can ask Jingming over there. He's in charge of both the Shell and Moon Shell Lanterns. So he's responsible for this super duper huge one too? That's right. All right then. Easy to find. Just over there, I think. If you could make a Shell Lantern for Shell, maybe that would cheer him up a bit. Mm, I don't know. He ain't really a narcissist, you know, making lanterns dedicated to him, I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure if he's the type to appreciate that sort of stuff too much. Hi, you're the overseer? Hmm. We should be able to meet the deadline. Teach us to make lanterns. Try your hand at making your own? Apparently. I'd be happy to teach you. There's no one way to make a Xiao Lantern, but let me start by showing you the simplest thing. I should have some spare materials over here. Uh, just a second. Ah, they still need a bit of work. Take these and give it a go. Yeah, we're basically just doing work for you now. Duh, there's no character with any sort of bonus here, is there? Nope. So I just need one. I have the materials, especially since he just gave them to me. And since I only need to make one, I'm only gonna make one. Confirm. And obtained. How about this? Give you a recipe list. Hmm. Alrighty then. Really? <sighs> yeah, that was complicated. Use the materials given to us by him and just convert it. I mean, sure, from our perspective it was easy, maybe it was a little bit more tedious. But still, Paimon. You. 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 How many brain cells do you have? Like two? Three? Maybe a couple more? <laughs> uh, it all comes with practice. No one's expecting your first try to be perfect. Folks like you who want to learn my craft are rare find nowadays. Did you build that humongous moon shell lantern using the same method? That one? I suppose it's fair to say the method is the same, broadly speaking. But no single person can take credit for it. The whole of Liyue comes together to make it. So it was a community effort? Surely you've heard about it. The Xiao Market is actually a fundraiser aiming to support the Moon Xiao Lantern's construction. Whoa! So that's how the Moon Xiao Lantern is built! Such is the Lantern Rite tradition. The Ministry of Civil Affairs might be covering the bulk of the cost, but it's the citizens of Liyue that donate the materials, among many other things. Oh, so that's what that little girl meant when she said she donated her rag doll. But since when do you build moonshell lanterns out of rag dolls? Well, the Lantern Rite is a major festival. If somebody wants to make a contribution, no matter how small, or in this case symbolic, we tend not to reject them. All well-meaning contributions are gratefully received. Especially considering <laughs> how grand of an occasion the Lantern Rite is for everyone. People believe that joining the effort might bring them good luck. <laughs> all right, then. Shouldn't you get going? With all that the festival has to offer, I'm sure you must be on a busy schedule. Yeah, of course, if you want busy. Busy. Yeah, Lantern at any time, you know where to find me. Happy Lantern Rite. Have fun. All right, next target. Back to you, apparently. The lamps. <laughs> they have returned. They have returned to life. I feel the power of lamp. So, did 
you find Dreamer? Absolutely. That was a quick conversation. Oh, part one complete. Lantern Ride Tales 1, we've only just begun. So it begins. Unlock after three days. Very well. Lantern Ride Tales. Seems to be troubled by something. Well then. Let's go. I don't like you. Hello. What's going on? Trying to sort everything out. More well, issues come up. Lantern delivery. Sending out the lanterns. Passing on our wishes. So, s still essential workers. Can't just take a break. Send gifts to acknowledge the hard work. Okay. Short staffed, so I need to do some stuff for you. I can deliver. So who do I need to deliver to? I have my delivery service, I can do this. Zhang Ming, Hong Yu, Kai. Mark their stations for you. Can't thank you enough. Let's walk so we can appreciate the lamps. Sadly, they don't appear to extend past the harbor too much. That's kind of disappointing, but I guess to be expected. I mean, the harbor is where the festival's taking place, so... But still, let's get a good look at that from here. It's It really looks nice. Look at this. I like how you can even see some uh, the light reflect on the surface of the water in some in some uh, spots. Not a lot, but in some spots you can definitely see it. Does the light should just be called lamp? <laughs> well, I didn't really know what was going on before. <laughs> I didn't really know this would be happening beforehand. Looking for missing young female, blonde hair. Oh! The missing person posters we uh, wanted people to hang up. So they actually have been hung up. How nice. You! I bring gifts. Looking over here. Gift delivery. Yeah. Home earlier this year too. Home in a few hours late. A few hours late. Thanks for coming. Is that fellow going to leave? Never. Die. 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 I will kill him for you. <laughs> no need to worry. He will leave once he's dead. <laughs> or not. Uh, hello. I bring gifts. Duty for a while. You do that. I I'm on delivery duty, so. And once again, we need to cross back on through our favorite, favorite area. You know, depending on the situation, since this event is going on for a little bit longer, I get the feeling that my next stream might just be called More Lamp. <laughs> it is very possible. <laughs> No guarantees, though. <laughs> Go 
gotta run like this so I can get a better view of everything while moving. All right. Let's ask those kids over here. Sure. You seen that guy? Uh, maybe I should get Genshin again. This time start fresh on PC. I mean, might not be a bad idea. I mean, it's a free game, so there's definitely no harm in it. Um, also, I am not sure if the yes is referring to Debbie Dino's comment or to the fact that I should maybe call the next stream just more lamp. But yeah, if you have a somewhat decent PC that can actually handle this game and... Well, I mean, if smartphones can handle this game, then it shouldn't be too hard to get a PC that can handle it. And I mean, any somewhat solid gaming PC should be able to handle this game without too much of a problem. The only kind of problem I can see with this game is storage, which fun fact, I was actually not sure if I'd be able to stream this game today because of storage issues. So when I saw, um, let me just finish talking to this person. Uh, have you seen Kali? Yeah, I'm looking for that guy. Suddenly lost her grip on it, lantern flew that way. What's so special about that lantern? I'll finish my thought in a second. Make another one, but she... Uh, no, we can't. My brother worked so hard on that to make that lantern. We'll bring it back to us in no time. My apologies. Okay. So, I said it before. I uh, popped into Min's stream when I realized there was a game update. So after leaving her stream, I decided, you know what? I need to update the game. Um... Sorry, I haven't been uh, joining. Uh, no problem. No problem. Um, I'm I'm doing fine today. Really am. Um, but anyway, what I was saying. When I left... Uh, just need to finish my thought here before I forget what I was going to say. Um, and I have been using my Q. I know it doesn't look like it right now because all of them are charged up. Actually, I don't think I've used it too much the stream. But I have. Have your Spanish les lessons. Alright, so <clears throat> I was going to update the game when I saw there was an update. So I tried to download it and whoopsie doo, insufficient storage space. So I had to relocate this entire game onto a separate um onto a separate onto a separate drive so that I would have enough space to add the update on uh, onto the game. And that took me a while, and then I had trouble starting the game, and it just kind of caused issues in my uh, in some parts of my PC not responding anymore, so I had to restart. And then the restart took forever for some reason, so I was really getting worried. But then in the end, everything worked itself out, and now everything's working again, so... Hooray! So yeah, when you're playing Genshin, definitely make sure you have a lot of extra storage space. And you got Jean? I do. I do. I think I had her for a very long time. I Didn't I have her... Yeah, no, I had her pretty much almost since the beginning. I got her in like my first or second or third character draw, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. Um, that's all I know. And now everyone's taking their Spanish lesson lessons. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to play Genshin Impact, definitely make sure you have enough storage. Otherwise, it's going to be a pain in the ass to make sure you can play the game when updates come out. I know that now. Alright, dude. Hello. Get there. What are you doing? You're trying to get the lantern. How to climb that tree. I can climb. Hard to f uh, fight gravity in full armor. I can do it. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Give me a second. And up we go. Got it. Use your lantern. <clears throat> That's the one. So I think, um, also, yeah, gift thing. Gratefully received, thanks for the trouble. 
Retrieving the lanterns, part of your duty. Chasing after evildoers or defeating monsters. Malum's duty is to help those in need. How nice of you. Get back to the kids. Still have a lot of other tasks to complete. Man, these guys need a break. Oh dear god. So much Spanish. I can't, okay? I can't read that. Spengo ga hanasema Spengo hanasemasen ga Spengo ga hanasemasen Gomenasai No Chinese and Japanese too Personally I'm not that gifted when it comes to languages so yeah Um did you just get the info for Genshin from the website and copy and paste? What I did, um, you mean about the storage space and stuff? Basically, I already had it installed, right? So I just copied all of the stuff I had installed onto a separate drive and then tried to boot it up from there, which was what caused problems. And then I had to, but after restart, everything started working again. Oh, now people are bringing... Now, <laughs> here comes the Japanese. Um, Konnichiwa, watashi wa, watashi wa anata no... God damn it, my kanji is not that good, okay? Ga... Maikato... Demasu... Yeah, sorry. Didn't actually type that myself. Again, my, sorry that my kanji is not that good, okay? Overall, my Japanese is not the best. But I try. I try. Uh, I'm not that good at learning languages, says the man who knows German and English. Well, that's not that hard. And, you know, just, just a little bit of Japanese. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, learning English, now that might just be personal bias, but learning English, not that hard. It's really not that difficult, in my opinion. Then again, that's easy for me to say after I already know it. Know a few words. Hallo, ich verstehe, dass du mit, uh, nicht mit Sprachen begabt bist. <laughs> well... Thanks for understanding that. <laughs> but yeah. Again, I, I try my best, but naturally no one's perfect at everything they do. That's uh, mostly it. Um, let's actually make some progress real quick. Um, gift delivery. Yeah, everyone got their present. Do I get a reward now? Mystery of a civil... Bears will schedule alternating shifts for them. Leo is too large. Uh, too many situations in places that need patrolling. By the way, you know, <laughs> with, um, with Genshin Impact, how there are certain titles that are German. If you actually know German and you hear their pronunciations of it, you get to have a good laugh every now and then. You get me? Now then again, can't really talk too much for Chinese uh, Chinese pronunciations here, but for the German ones, I can definitely have a good laugh every now and then. Uh, me, I studied for four years. Hmm. Simply don't have enough recruits. Yeah, you, you got me now. Don't worry, I can handle some more stuff. Um... Sounds like a tall order, yeah. Yeah, but you, you got you got any more jobs for me to do? Hang on a second. You can say some weird stuff of German and I've said the few new words. And then people are like, what? I mean yeah. One thing about German that kind of frustrates me a little bit is how everyone has it in their mind that German is is uh this like super aggressive language. For some reason, 
And I don't quite get where that where that's coming from. Now I get it when people are like jokingly saying that sort of stuff, but there are some people who seriously think that's the case and I'm not really sure why that's still such a why that's still such a prominent thought nowadays. But I guess that's just how it is. Santa right reminds me nearly time around the festival. Guess what? What? What should I guess? And house lanterns. It's how you speak German. Yeah, that's. But for some reason, many people think the language itself sounds aggressive. That's. I guess they only hear the aggressive ones, especially because everyone, compared to other languages, move from Fischl to Jogen and Zhangling. Jingwang. Got Adventuring 32. Alright. What about you? Um, hang on a second. About adventure rank, I think I'm adventuring 35 right now. So not that far ahead. I actually need to clear a quest to up my w world level soon. Uh, like British English versus, versus American English. Fair. I guess that's ju just some cliches that stick around. Wait, say that again. Say what again? My adventure rank? 35? Why? Or that about British versus American English. Oi mate, bloody... I can't do a... Wait, I can't do an... Can I do an accent? Oi mate, bloody hell. No, that's... I think that's, that was a little bit more towards Scottish. I can't... I don't think I can do an accent all that well. Two English sound totally different. I have a good example, English, ambulance, Finnish, ambulance, ambulance, uh, and then Krankenwagen in German. Well, I guess that's a difference. That is very true. That is very true, my friend. <laughs> what is here with like the random right to spread? Far and wide. Meant for everyone, after all. Duty calls? Alright then. Complete that. Hooray! Running in circles because I am having fun. Just sounds more aggressive. I mean, maybe, maybe some words sound a little bit more aggressive, but. Wasn't there another. Thing about butterflies versus the German Schmetterling. Schmetterling apparently sounds a little bit more aggressive than butterfly. So yeah. Final impression of the medic. <laughs> you think? You think I'd have a bon impression of the medic? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Haven't heard the medic's voice lines in forever. I mean, I, I do know what he sounds like, but... Definitely been a while since I heard that. You wanna know a kind of... Fun... Uh, I don't know, a kind of funny dark joke. Well, as long as it's at least kind of funny, then sure. Ask away. Alright, so here are my requests, apparently. And then I can go over here eventually. Alright, let's, you know, accept all. Um, why are all Japanese people thin? The last time they, ha they had a fat man, it didn't end well. Wow. Wow, <laughs> okay then. I guess that's, that is kind of dark. Uh, where are we going over here? <laughs> damn, damn, everyone in chat is like, 
Yeah, that's um, interesting. But yeah, speaking of German, since I was mentioning that before about German names in uh, Genshin and how they're pronounced. Because technically, now I'm kind of going along with it and calling Mondstadt, well, Mondstadt, but it's pretty far off from how it would actually be pronounced as uh, Mondstadt. So I'm going along with it because that's how everyone else pronounces it in this game. And it'd be stupid if I just made an exception just, just for that, but still. Good joke, but damn. Yeah, damn. I mean, he said, he said it was dark. They said it was dark. I need to remember to use gender neutral terms just in case for everything. <laughs> that way no one gets offended when... <laughs> uh, because I don't, can't remember anything. I, say, I said it before, I'll say it again. I don't remember anything. So there's a good chance that people get offended. Even if they have told me that gender before. And I still get it wrong. So remember to use they. Unless I absolutely know for sure. Because I interact with them multiple times. Like Min and Ducky because I uh, often watch them stream. And if I can't remember anything about those two. Even though I watch the streams. Then that's not just embarrassing. That's absolutely stupid. On a whole nother level. Alright, what's the matter, dude? <clears throat> Collecting some materials. Given the Lantern Ride Festival's already in full swing. Maybe it's a problem with my technique or something, but no matter what I do, the painting just doesn't feel right. General opinion of the US and Germany. General opinion of the US and Germany. Well, I think... I think that, uh, in Germany we share the same opinion as a lot of places about the US. That being that... I mean, it seems like a pretty... pretty nice place for business and stuff. But also feels like a place where it's kind of mixed feelings. At least that's my personal opinion. Now, of course, I don't speak for everyone. Um, after all, with uh, the gun safety laws and everything in, Amer in the US, everyone feels a little bit iffy about how, it go how stuff is going over there in that department. Japan thinks happy hamburger country. German guy, read AOD. It's cool to hear the correct pronunciation of names like Rainer and Aaron. Well, I mean, correct pronunciation is a thing. I mean, the way it's pronounced by uh, in the original uh, with in the with the original voices should be the pronunciation a lot of people use because, well, that's how they pronounce it. They're the original voices, so it has to be the correct pronunciation. And I'm inclined to kind of go along with it, which is why I'm calling Monstad Monstad. Then again, I do always have a good, did always have a good laugh at Fischl whenever she called herself the princess, princess in there for Ertelung. <laughs> because that just sounds funny to me when she pronounces it like that. Oh well. I mean, she, I guess she is supposed to be kind of tuny ish. Which is why all those big words and everything just makes it all the f all the more funny. <laughs> Find anywhere. Do you mind any scenic spots? Yeah, sure. I'll have a look around. I found a spot. Let's go. Up there, okay. Let's go. Let's see what's up. Up we go. There should be a platform. Yes. 
and all the way up. Viewpoint, how nice. Hello, Mr. Poet. Uh, what just happened? Wasn't there another guy standing here? Uh, interesting. Well, most people in the US, I talk to, I think Germany is a great economy and business success more than the US. Well, that's the thing. Even in Germany, we are quite aware of all the, you know, I don't know if that's how, how exactly how everyone sees it. Maybe that's just us being proud, uh, Germany being proud of what we produce here. But for us, it's like the kind of thing just as much as made in China is supposedly a mark of usually products being low quality or ripoffs. I know that's stupid to say considering this game is kind of made in China, but that's the cliches as you know them. So as much as some people, uh, a lot of us consider made in China to be uh, to mean it's pretty low quality, uh, as just as many people say that made in Germany means it's pretty much just the seal of quality you can get. But that might just be because a lot of people here think it's our industry, we need to be uh, proud of what we make here. Um, actually, that's the reason I chose to study German, because it's the richest country in Europe, I think. Well, I don't know too much about economics, but sure, that's facts. Talking about the um, one before, China is bad at making things. Well, they're apparently good at making games. <laughs> at least Genshin Impact. But yeah. <laughs> that's just some cliches that are out there. Naturally, there are always some exceptions. No matter where you go. Um. Oh, no, he's still here. The poet is still here. He was just hiding behind him. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, dude, you could really lose uh lose some weight. <laughs> there was a guy hiding behind you and I couldn't even see him. <laughs> Ouch. Want to hear a fun fact about the US? Sure. Sure. Feel free to share. Uh, I consider myself a poet. Uh, well, I'm a painter. Well, that seems like a collaboration waiting to happen. Poetry and art, even though poetry is also kind of art. Inspiration, inspiration, you say? Why, there's a coincidence. Scene of Lyria Harbor. Sarah was assisting me. Indeed. What you're seeking inspiration for? Well, for a poem, obviously, probably. Poem out Leo Harbor during the Lantern Ride. Who could have guessed? Um, can one we won the, the world and a win in military power? Well, then. What an interesting fun fact. Should we be scared now? Is that fact based on opinion? Is that fact based or opinion based? Is that fact based or opinion based? I can't even read. Is that fact based or opinion based? <laughs> Good question. I. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, it is true that Amer that the U.S. has quite a big military force. So. They def they'd definitely be able to when we won most countries, I get the feel like, but when we won the entire world, that's uh, an interesting proposal. C. You wanna collaborate? Oh, your poem is right, possibly fit into a few lines of poetry. Great painting could probably Oh no, it's a competition, is uh is it? Can you say I feel such work could be only be a waste of br brush and ink? Because if you add the top 15 military powers together, I would still have more. Well then. Does more mean better? Are we seriously discussing military? <laughs> Are we seriously discussing the military now? 
about making use of what you've got. Uh. Oh well. So we got a little bit of a competition here to distract from that topic. Painting versus poetry. What is superior? What's your guys' opinion? Personally, I think making decent making paintings has a higher entry level of skill for it to be recognized as actually possible because I feel like anyone, yeah, sure, anyone can start in, uh, at both of them. But for art, if you don't want to draw like a toddler, you have to have some kind of skill. Whereas with poetry, as long as you can string some basic rhymes together, it's already basic poetry. So I think that drawing has a higher entry level for it to be recognized as actual art. But both of them require a decent amount of skill to uh, get good, I think. And speaking about the Big Bang and nerdy stuff. Absolutely, here we go, back to nerdy stuff. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> no politi politics or impure topics here. It's all about the nerdy stuff. <laughs> Poem would be better suited. Whoa, calm down, why don't you... Co this would be a good spot for like a collaborative effort. But no, you have to turn it into a competition. Create a work depicting Lua Harbor during the Lantern Ride. Both finished our works, we can put them on display and invite someone to judge them. That's acceptable. Reason you have so much. Well, there we go. Finishing that topic off, you have so much because you need that much. I guess. So here we have a competition. <laughs> How many times have I said that now? <laughs> An attempt to get this back on track. Excuse me, I shall take my leave now. I should leave that the lantern right on the Ohio can express a few lines of poetry. <laughs> shall you put on hold for the near future? And despite and there's more. <laughs> Surely I won't even stand a chance. Put all my creativity into this one. Some special materials, sure. Whopper flower nectar from a pyro whopper flower. I might have some of that, I hope. Please tell me I already have some of that. No, I actually need to collect it, okay. Damn it. Well, time to go. Time to go and collect. Gonna go, but you have a good night. Alright then, thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate it. And don't worry, I'm gonna keep using my cues from now on. Here we go. Now this won't do much. Official's queue again, kind of awkward. But there we go, I'm using them. <laughs> so no one can say I don't keep my promises. Alright. I don't like getting constantly bombarded like this. You're done yet? If I can just take care of one of them, this would be so much easier. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. Why did you shoot over here? I was nowhere near that. Oh, your Spanish lessons, people. <laughs> I mean, I would if I was taking any, but yeah, sure.
But thanks for the reminder for everyone else. Hope you have a pleasant evening. Damn it! Where is shooting? Dude, y you okay? Are you okay? And well, well, I win. Time to report back. Here I go. Hello. I have returned. I mean, almost, almost still have a little bit of distance to walk. I feel like panning and poetry can both be achieved by anyone, for example, the Blood Red Mirror, sold for 1.1 million as a canvas. Red Man Island is a famous poem of 13 lines. True enough. After all, you know what? I, I said that both of them are art, be it a painting or a poem. There's my opinion on that argument. Both of them are art, be it a painting or a poem, and art is always subjective. Art is always in the eye of the beholder. So, I I do get it that pretty much anything and anyone can achieve the title of artist slash art. A lot of it comes down to preferences. Hello. I have your stuff. Do just fine. Suitable landscape. The poet sees my painting. It's a tradition to release my lanterns. Yes. Got a lantern here. As for the wish, well, I won't tell you. These are for you. Festive fever. Well then, let's keep going. I can theoretically now afford stuff on the market. But I think... No, actually, no, I can't. Why did I get that? Just because this unlocked, maybe? Anyway, I want to save for um, this one. Because that's a limited item. Um, now then, there were two more quests I can do, so let's get to it. Another seems to be looking for help with some matters. You know what, I think that's my goal for today, just finish, uh, finish off these two quests. And after these two are completed, I think I'll call it a day. After all, it is getting kind of late. So let's go. I completely agree. But you could load a little bit quicker, thank you. So if I were to go this way... Then I will arrive at my destination right down here. So, you want help. Uh, give who a lantern? The wrench has always taken good care of me. The wrench? That's an interesting nickname, unless you're talking about an actual literal wrench. Almost like a real brother to me. So I'm guessing it's a an interesting nickname and you're not considering an actual wrench to be your brother. <laughs> Still working non-stop. Give to my lanterns a gift for a childhood playmates. Absolutely love the set of the lanterns. Help me deliver. Might mean more coming from you. 
got many things to take care of at home, left my husband to do all the housework, leaving the lantern to you. I will go see the, my husband, I will go see the wrench together. What kind of nickname is the wrench? Sorry to anyone who actually has a nickname like that. I mean, I guess it's as someone who constantly works, name uh, getting the getting a nickname from a tool might not be entirely unfitting. But why a wrench of all things? Hmm. Some business. Here's a lantern. There you go. Take it. She gave me a lantern for me, didn't she? Greatest wish as a kid. Time truly flies. How come she asked you? She has uh, things to attend to at home. Sounds like she's got a good life now. That's all that matters. Let me guess. You had a crush on her. You had a crush on her and are sad that she isn't with you. It's very good. I'm sorry I've still got work to do. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> in the per permanently in the friend zone, isn't he? Poor dude. I see that book. But you could hide from me. Also, what's up here? Hidden chest, maybe? Doesn't look like it. Still, take a quick peek up here. Nope, nothing of interest. Calling someone a spanner is an insult over here. I don't know about the wrench though. <laughs> um. So yeah, you overheard us. Just know him well enough. There was no need to even guess. I don't know what. Then came right back and proceeded to hammer and so just howl the whole night. I know why he does it, but still. Can you please go help him out? Sorry for troubling you. I bet he's on board a ship now working away. Damn. Yeah, I definitely think he had a crush on her. Poor dude. Permanently stuck in the friend zone. Where is he? Down here? There you are. That's a long from behind work. You sure you're alright? I'm fine, why wouldn't I be a ship to work? Allow me to help. Want to I can bring some wooden planks. I guess we'll go and take some wooden planks. Let's go. Right up top here. I have come to take your planks. That's one. That's two. Hello, precious chest. What are you doing in a place like this? Also, here are your planks. Submit and take them. You should do the trick. Many thanks. So if you lose ends to tie up, uh, take inventory. Yeah, sure. Finish everything here. I'm on it. I'm just doing everyone's job now. All right, taking stock. Count. I'm so good at counting. I can count to three, a one, a knee, a dry. <laughs> All right, then.
guess we have another assignment tomorrow and forgot to do it until right now. That wouldn't happen to be you, would it? In which case, ouch. Tally the numbers up? Sure. Uh, Lee says he's got some food prepared for you. He worries too much. Since he's already gone to the trouble of making it, let's go and join him. Besides, you helped me out a lot too, so I should uh, use compensation. But yeah, if you have an assignment to do, feel free to do it. You won't be missing much. After all... So yeah, if you're worried about missing stuff again, the stream won't go on for much longer anyway. Just uh, this quest and the next one. And then I plan to end it anyway. So yeah. Absolutely no need to worry in that department. I'm just running around like an idiot though. <laughs> now then guys, um, I am here for the food. Finished everything, small matter, it's easy. Festive season, no need for the long face. Let's go. Have you prepared the lantern? For God, what's with my memory today? It's just a lantern, so what if we don't release one this time? Okay. But, but lamp! <laughs> Try that with me, you're not seriously interesting that we saw. About a lantern now, are we? you? Leave it to me. Do I have one? Go right here. I do, I have multiple actually. Didn't even need to make one. Yes, lamp. A lamp. The best lamp. Yeah. No traveler. What should I wish for? Let's go off New Guinea Horizons. A fine wish. What's wrong? The same wish last year as well. There we go. Another one done. One more to go. That's two lanterns up. Adventurer's Guild is inviting people to play a certain game. Talk to him at night. Actually, should I just teleport? I definitely should just teleport. Hello! Oh, this seems interesting. Okay, you know what to do. You know what we must do. Where is it? I have been waiting for a couple of hours now. The Illumi what now? Well, it's really simple. See those screens over there? Those three lanterns. Have these lanterns made to order. You turn them on, they cast all kinds of images. If you rotate all three lanterns in the right way, the images will combine and give you the full picture. Really? Okay, how about this? Have a go of rotating the lanterns first, and once you're comfortable with how it works, I'll tell you how the whole game works in detail. Rotate. Um, why can't I rotate anymore? Because it's already complete, huh? Also, yes, lamp. More lamp. <laughs> Pick that up quickly. Yeah, it was just one, t one rotation of the closest... You know what, never mind. Okay, is it difficult? Didn't you already figure out? I did figure it out. 
to do is rotate the three lanterns so that the image is cast onto the screen aligned to get the full picture. I can tell you the image combinations in advance, but it's up to you to figure out how to rotate, okay? May or may not have noticed that those screens have a map of Leo painted on them. Yeah, align the images and shine them onto the map. You'll find treasure specially prepared by the Adventurer's Guild. Had a lot of people working at full hill to set these treasure sites. Just though they are just like these treasure chests here. Once you know the locations, you should be able to find them. It's a glaze lily. The moon screen only show up clearly at night. You must come back. Try. Venture skill commissioned an expert to make these lanterns. They're really beautiful. Absolute lamp. Wow. So difficult. Observe. Glowy spots too, okay. So... It's all the way in the north of the Liyue section of the map. Pretty much, right? Yeah, that's the Great Waterfall and just be below that. Hang on. Where was it? Wasn't it up here? There it is. Oh, it's... Never mind, it's also marked on this map. Good to know, so I don't have to memorize everything. <laughs> Let's see, if I go here, then I should probably be able to get across to this place. Let's go. Time for some treasure hunting. Now this is starting to feel a lot more like an adventure game again. <laughs> go. I can see a chest in the distance, but that's not the one we're looking for. We're looking for one right over here. Can I break this? Apparently not. That should do more damage. Maybe not a lot, but still. Up here. It has to be somewhere up here. Hmm? Up on the tree? Maybe. Could you stop moaning for a bit? Doesn't feel like it's up here, but I found another thing up here. So let's go over here and go. So it has to be around here somewhere. Down here! That looks like the place. Let's get rid of these stupid spiders. Um, next one's over here. Easy peasy. And as for the others, um, there we go. That should hopefully put some pressure on them. Ouch. Oh, there's still a lot of them left. Okay. Okay, that's a lot. Okay. Don't, don't like, don't like, don't like at all. Oh, 
Alright, if I if I can get This is annoying, I can't even I can't properly shoot like this. Okay, this is like super annoying. There has to be a can I just reach him like this? I can in that case. Okay, that's one of them. Q promised I'd use it, so here we go. Let's use it. Got him. Okay. That's still a lot of them. I'm not even sure this is what I'm supposed to be looking for. I think this is just one of those stupid temple thingies. I mean, I'm still gonna open it because after all this trouble, I'd feel stupid for leaving it. There's still a spider up there, isn't there? You stupid son of a... Come on. Now I should have a decent shot of actually finishing this. And Q again. Should I stream tonight? That That's entirely your choice. If you want to stream, then by all accounts, do do stream. If not, then not. I uh, I am not one to decide for others when they should stream. I can hardly decide when I want to stream. I don't even have a key to open it. Now where's that stupid treasure? Froggy? There's another spider up here. Very helpful opinion. I know, I know. But honestly... <laughs> I know my opinion's not helpful, but it is an opinion. The treasure's up here, isn't it? Ooh, you are just delightful, aren't you? Anything fall down? Nope. Uh, let's go for the next one, which is over here. I think it's best if I come in from this direction. And just go straight north. So behind the waterfall apparently. Seems like a good spot, to be honest. Also there appears to be a little bit of a side quest I can accept here. Over here. As well as a Sealy. Can find it anywhere, what are you looking for? Uh Big Nine wrote it for me specifically. For me into it, so I left. I think I will since I'm not streaming Friday. That's fair. Well in that case I know who I'm raiding today. I forgot to raid someone after the Slender stream, didn't I? I think so. I'm not entirely sure though. I f sometimes forget to raid people, and if I forget to raid people, I need people to remind me to do that. <laughs> but can you help me look for it? Sure, yeah. It's a very good person. Where do I start? 
really cold, froze my hands stiff, alright. Um, somewhere dry, exhausted, lay back down, the book was gone. Alright, let's follow the Sealy real quick. No. Alright, she'll climb the side of the ladder. Sealy, are you up here? You should be. There you are. Nice. Don't like, don't like, don't like. Keep going, keep going, keep going. What? What's over here? A piece of paper here. Keep moving, I really don't want to fight those idiots. Shield up. And there we go. Damn it, just... There we go. So I need to go in this direction. Let's go. Actually, never mind that. It's better to just teleport back and walk again. Because that would be a long climb. So let's go once again. And then, once we found treasure number two, we'll move on to number three. Then see if there's anything else we need to do in order to actually finish the quest. And if we're done, you know what we're gonna do, okay. Didn't actually want to fight you, but I guess this is happening now. I guess this is happening now. Have I already told you that I hate you? Like, honestly. Really annoying enemy. Then again, a lot of enemies are really annoying, apparently, if I, what I am saying is to be believed. But when you summon a lot of really annoying, constantly dodging bats, I think you also deserve, deserve the title of being annoying. <laughs> Alright, now that's done, let's open this chest so I don't have to worry about you anymore. And let's move on our, on our adventure. Up here. Hello. A lot of enemies here. And again, it's another one of those. Let me guess, it's just gonna be on top again, isn't it? No, it's not. It's over here. And there's more enemies. There we go. You got, don't get wet now, don't get wet now. That would be very bad. Ooh, now don't get, don't get iced. Damn it, damn it! Go away. Bad spot.
And out we go. Come on. Really annoyed right now. But it's still manageable. They're just incredibly tanky. And there's more coming. Really now. And... Got him. Hopefully now they'll just die permanently, now that their boss is defeated. And... Yep, permanently. That certainly was a lot. Okay, just one more left. Which is over here. Haven't been here in a while. Is that treasure hoarders I see? I think we've got some treasure hoarders over here. I mean, I shouldn't have expected anything else. Treasure hoarders, it just fits. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, not quite charged up yet. How about this? Hmm. Okay. There we go. Got a lot of stuff here. I don't suppose you're willing to share. <laughs> oh, that was a success. Doesn't look like any uh any real drops happened, so I think now we just need to go back and report that we found everything. And that should be that should be it. That should be the end of it. And there we go. Find every last chess, all of them. Got a knack for finding treasure then. Please take these as your prize. Like these? Aww. How sad. Anyway, that should do it, right? Let's double check real quick. And up it goes. There we go. Now these ones, we'll see when it happens. Alright, but that's about it. That's as far as the stream goes. So, we are now moving on to the promised raid. Now, as for who we're gonna raid, I think we already know who's, who it's gonna be. After all, I talked about it a little bit earlier. So, let's quickly exit out. And then... We shall, as soon as I got everything loaded up correctly, Go into my little stream manager 
And we are going to raid. We are going to raid a certain ducky. Who also happens to be an assassin. For some reason Twitch doesn't like your name. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't show up at all. Sometimes it shows up as just Twitch. And now... <clears throat> Now it's simply now when I type in your name it simply shows up as NA. But we are going to raid anyway. So get everything prepared and fired up. And now to anyone who's still around, we're heading over there in three, two, a one, and see you over there. Bye bye. And as for all of you lovely folks watching this on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed this archive. Don't know if if it was even remotely entertaining to you. But I guess I'll see you soon. So until then, to you as well. Bye.